Hi, everybody. Let's see, there we go. How is everybody doing today? We have a really, really great week this last week. Had a absolutely awesome outdoor Reiki session with two clients. Got to put my traveling Reiki table uh, by their outside uh, fountain in the middle of a beautiful garden that's in the middle of an even more beautiful forest. It was just such an awesome experience for everyone all around. Yesterday, I got a unique opportunity to just kind of take a day to myself, sit, meditate, really get in touch, and uh, I got to hang out with all the animals outside, hanging out with the blue jays, the cardinals, got uh, baby bunnies running around, got a family of uh, robins that are literally nesting in our front door, that front light that you have outside your your porch light, um, hanging out with the chipmunks today as well. We got three chipmunks and uh, they're really friendly, they will come pretty much right up to your feet, take your food. So, when I go into deep meditation, I like to contemplate uh, body dynamics and body mechanics. So, I am going to open with some basic stretches, and then I'm going to get into a little bit more about how you can best leverage yourself when it comes to mobility. There's a lot of people that I've spoken with lately. They have slip discs in their back. They have aches and pains in their joints and hips and knees and whatnot. Um, just due to years and years of manual labor. So I feel it's important to be able to bring attention to some of the angles and uh, some of the balanced positions that you can use with your body that allow you to move it in a very springy motion with very little effort um, being forced on joints or being forced on uh, your muscles as well. So I'm excited to get into that with you guys today. One of my favorites is the stretch. Stretch. Every exhale, you relax your abdomen. You sink further and further and further. You see if you're working on something like the splits, you can try to stretch out from here and then just use pressure on your foot. Kind of see what we're doing there, walking it over. And you get a nice wide stance here and you get a nice stretch through your hamstring and uh, you can lever yourself off the floor for balance and depending on where I'm pushing with my arm behind me will determine which part of my body that I want to stretch. Here. And quad stretch. Just inch your way. It works.
uh, essentially we flip sides so we can transition back the other way now. Want to get into the breathing techniques, the two seconds in and two seconds out uh, is really good, especially with a bit of force. So, what that would look like if you're in a relaxed position and you want to take your mind a little bit further would be, and I'm going to kind of over exaggerate just so you guys can hear me on the camera. Really get your stomach in when you really exaggerate and use your abdomen to really push that air out. And when you suck in, really contract and vacuum in your abs to help with that airflow. It really stimulates all the glands and the chakras inside your body as you're doing it. And you do those kind of forced belly breathing techniques. I feel I'll be there, guys. I feel I'll be there within about a month. I'll put the splits both horizontal and vertical. My spring goals are right out. Fire. It's going out. Another big factor, and I've mentioned this before, and I'm going to say it again, that these people who get flip discs and sore backs and sore joints is their flexibility is really limited. Their muscles are really cramped and tight and uh, seized up. And I always find that Stretching, even if you do nothing else for physical activity, it always brings you that relaxed, pain free body. Look into the bridge. Can't bridge, tabletop is always nice. If anybody who's interested in spinal alignment, this next one is really good for your spine, it's good for stretching out your lower back and upper glutes.
just want to stay balanced and we just want to stay straight and we just want to very gently bring your knees above your eyebrows or and you'll feel everything just start to loosen. Other way, and go right back. As long as you're not putting pressure on your neck, I'm supporting that weight with my hands. You get your knees right above your head. That one's really good for abs if you like it. So we have this very unique dynamic to our body's movements. And there's a twist and there's a torque to that twist. There's a lot of rotation within our uh, ability to function and every joint has just enough energy in it with about a three inch pocket of space that you can use momentum to move yourself around with a little more effort than just shifting your weight hip to hip. And if I can demonstrate what I mean by this properly on camera here. So I'm going to bring you guys into child's pose. It's a really good one. This is really helpful, beneficial if you're learning to meditate, if you're practicing uh, sitting on your feet like this. It's a good little uh, bow down and it's really relaxing it's grounding uh to be able to hug the, the floor and you're equally balanced on your legs and your uh, forearms really good for things like anxiety and panic attacks you can curl up into a little ball and your airway is open your chest has room to breathe between your knees and I find it really comfortable and I could and have dozed off and sleep like this. Now, what I want to show you is with very little effort, just by shifting my weight or moving my arm, I shift my weight just a little. And then all my weight is now toppled off to the left. So I move my left arm and just press into the floor. You can rock your body with this side to side swaying motion. This is a fundamental component when you get into things like chopping wood, using a hammer, using uh, martial arts and uh, inertia, energy waves. as a weapon is you can very quickly bounce from one side to the other just by shifting your weight. And this gives you a good amount of leverage and balance. And when you can shift your weight Get yourself into a, a springed position. You can move yourself around. Quite dynamically with very little 
movements. And then if you have some leg strength, depending on how you twist, will determine the whole radius of where your body moves to. And this bouncing motion is good for stretching. And ultimately, you see these guys in boxing, they'll always be up on their tiptoes and it's really, really hard to keep your balance. But when you have a nice firm wide stance and just shift your, your, your hips, you can really bounce yourself around with very little movement. And when you understand how to use your body's uh, twist and torque, it's really beneficial to um, being able to leverage yourself up off the floors, up off uh, chairs. And ultimately, the less force that you need to put on your joints, on your limbs, your muscles, you know, over time, um, the stronger they'll become if you can utilize more movement with less effort. I'll see you guys all Sunday.